Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to explain how the process of importing the assets from the S store is working in Unity Editor. First of all, you hit import the package button over here and it starts to download your asset into uni into temporary folder. Disk C, users, username, uh, updater, roaming, Unity, asset store 5x and actually it downloads my package into this folder so this is a temporary file uh, then after successful download it will uh, it will convert this temporary file into the package and it will create another file another file with the same size so it will take not a uh, one uh, 28 gig gigabyte you know, as it says here, it will take a double amount of space, which is mentioned here. So not 128, it will take 256. And uh, you can see that, uh, you know, the size of package is increasing. And right after uh, a conversion, it will remove this file automatically and leave this file here forever. So you'll need to, uh, after importing all this package into your project, you will need to remove this file manual, be manual because it will stay here forever forever yeah but let's just say you don't have free space on disk C how to move uh, how to move this folder somewhere else so the problem is unity doesn't have an option to set up a folder you know, a location of temporary files folders. So you will need to do this manually with your hands. I use symbolic links for this. Actually, you can do this uh, with with built-in symbolic links. But I use application link shell extension. So you will need to have installed uh, Visual Studio at 2005 and this application in installed. And then you will have to, so you can see that you know, I have error because I don't have free space on my disk C, so I'm out of free space. And it's about time to move my folder. So you have this application, this application installed, so link shell extension, link shell extension. And then let's move our folder somewhere else. Let's just um, get rid of... Uh, all files from here. Oop. Actually, I have this file already downloaded. I just keep this in a safe place on disk C. Let's just place it over here. Oop. <coughs> well, e yeah. Now let's move this folder. Cut, you know, cut paste it to disk D. Then let's create a symbolic link. So I pick a link source and I drop it over here as symbolic link. But let's just wait for this process to finish because I don't want to have any problem here. About 20 seconds remaining 10 seconds remaining, 5 seconds, come on, give me 5 seconds, okay, good, 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 and we put, uh, I mean, we drop it as symbolic link over here, yes, okay, here we go, now, if we download something in Unity, Let's just say we are going to import some free assets. I don't care, some random random assets. Soldier. Soldier. Let's just put some random assets. The asset store is not available. Oh, great! But it was available a couple of minutes ago. How now it's not available? Are you serious? Unity! Good lord, are you serious? This is not, this is not funny. Okay, let's just then then try to import this package again, or what? What's your idea about this? I have no idea. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, let's just pick something really random. So visual what? Visual no will import, and you will see that it's tr it will be downloaded into into this folder. So into disk D, Unity related, Unity five assets, asset store five x. So it's correct now. It doesn't take free space from my disk C anymore. It takes free space from disk D, which is correct. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later in the next video of something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. And please keep in mind that you will need to manually remove all those Unity packages because they will st they will stay here forever. So Unity doesn't remove them all automatically. Yeah. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a good time. Bye bye. Bye bye. And have a good time. See you later in the next video of something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. Bye.